Hey guys, Tyler here from NFT Auto Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a cool look at the all new 2017 Cadillac XT5 and the Platinum trim level. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Valenti Cadillac in Hartford, Connecticut for allowing me to film the car in today's video. Now if you're interested in purchasing any Cadillac, go ahead and give them a call, stop by, or check out their inventory online. So this particular XT5 has a few options, um, not a whole lot because it is the top of the line platinum trim level, um, but it does have the compact spare tire which comes along with a cargo net, and then it also has the portable media package which I believe is just a tablet holder. So there are seven total color options available for the platinum trim level on the XT5, and this particular color is called the Stellar Black Metallic and it looks very very nice. So front wheel drive is your standard drivetrain for all but the Platinum trim level, but all wheel drive is an option for all but the Platinum at a $2,495 cost. So let's go ahead and start here on the front with the headlamps. So you have the IntelliBeam headlight system and you have an LED projector bulb used both for your high and low beams. And you have your signature Cadillac LED daytime running lights coming down and you also have LED turn signals. You have parking sensors going all the way across the front and a very nice signature Cadillac grille with a Cadillac shield and one of your cameras for the 360 degree view camera system. Coming standard on the Platinum trim level. So on the side you have these great looking 20 inch wheels and your tires measure 235.55 now these wheels come standard on the Platinum and you have ventilated disc brakes in there. Really, really nice finished wheels. It's not an alloy finish, but it's sort of like a um, satin chrome maybe. And then you also have a wheel lock and you have six lugs right here, which is good. You have the Cadillac emblem right here and nice fold-in mirrors. So coming down the side, your wheelbase stands at 112.5 inches. And there is a lot of usage of chrome along this side of the vehicle, down below and around the windows there. You also have these really cool, cool door handles that light up at night with your smart key access system, which I'll demonstrate in a little while. So make sure you stay with us. Now here's the window sticker. It's a little bit hard to read because of the tinting of the glass. So if you can see, you can go ahead and pause there if you want. Now back here you also have ventilated disc brakes, which is a big plus. And coming around the back, you have a really nice shape towards the back pillars there, with your integrated spoiler up top and your shark fin antenna, as, as well as the, um, the bright work on the roof rails. So back here you have your LED tail lamps your chrome exhaust outlets, your backup cameras, and your parking sensors going all the way across. And also right here is your reverse light. You have your 3.6 badging there to indicate what kind of motor is in it, and it is a 3.6. One more thing I'd like to point out is there looks like there isn't a third wiper back here but it is hidden up here out of sight which is a pretty cool feature there so now let's go ahead and take a look under the hood so under the hood of the 2017 XT5 we find our standard and only engine choice which is the extremely reliable 3.6 liter GM V6 putting out 310 horsepower and at 6600 rpm and 271 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 RPM. So really super reliable engine here. GM uses it in a lot of their products and not a whole lot of covering on the engine which makes me happy. Another good thing is they start, they're start they starting to use 5W30 oil again instead of the 0W20. 
And you don't need a prop to hold it up because you have this arm right here which will hold it up. So now let's go ahead and check out the interior, but not before checking out the smart key access system like I promised you earlier. So at the moment the car is locked, but if I wanted to unlock it, all I really need to do is keep the key fob in my pocket and locate this button right here. Pushing that will unlock the driver's door. Pushing it again will unlock the rest of the doors. So you really don't even need to use your key fob for this car. Now this is the black interior. And I believe you have three other color options. You have this really, really gorgeous high gloss sort of mimic carbon fiber look right here for the trim and accented by the metallic. You have this nice door handle, lock unlock. You also have your two person memory with an easy exit system. Now pushing that, pushing that easy exit system will put the steering wheel up and put the seat back for an easy exit. So hence the name. You also have a nice padded armrest right here. You have your front and rear um, window controls. You have your mirror controls, and they also fold in. And you also have a Bose audio system here, standard on the um, XT5. And you also have some trunk controls to where you can open it the max way, three quarters way, or off. So you would want to turn it off if you have like a low garage or you're in a parking garage or stuff like that. And you also have a nice storage bin right there. To the left of the dash, it's a really cool design over here. You have some leather, some suede, some of the really cool carbon fiber accents there. You also have your electronic parking brake, gauge dimmer, heads up display settings. Down here you have a really nice um, threshold there. Down here you have your pedals and your hood release like you saw earlier. Now this car does come with carpeted floor mats. As you see you have the buttons there to hook them in. But they will get installed once someone buys this car. So here for the driver's seat, you have a really nice design with the um, signature Cadillac crest. And it is 10-way powered. And you have two-way lumbar here. So now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the interior. Okay, so I have the key fob with me, and it's a really nice looking Cadillac key fob. You have the Cadillac logo kind of popping out on the back, and then you have your lock unlock, remote start, trunk release, and a panic alarm. So all you need to do to start the car is make sure the key is on the interior, put your foot on the brake, and press the dash mounted start button. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful new steering wheel that Cadillac came out with. They also put this steering wheel in the new CT6 sedan, which I am dying to get my hands on. Um, but for now, let's take a look at this. You have really nice grip bolsters up here, and you have some stitching all the way around in the inside of the steering wheel. You also have some nice bright work coming all around the wheel, and your beautiful carbon fiber accenting there. I don't think it's real carbon fiber, but it's just a sort of mimic look, and it looks really, really nice in the sun. So, taking a look at the left of the steering wheel, you have voice commands here, you have a hang up for your Bluetooth audio, and then you also have your cruise control settings here. Down here you have a, a few safety systems. This is a forward collision warning, and it looks like a lane keeping assist. And you also have a heated steering wheel control right there. I don't think we'll be needing that today though because it's quite hot today. But up here we have controls for your center screen right there, all these, which we will get into a little bit a little bit later. You also have your plus and minus for your audio. So down here towards the bottom you also have these skip buttons for um, skipping between your favorite radio stations there. 
Now up here your gauges, they are very nice looking gauges. You have your RPM over here, and then you have a bunch of um, digital stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, you have all kinds of temperatures, your gas um, gauge and your battery voltage. You also have your speedometer over there to the right. Now we can go ahead and take a look at a few of the menus here, using these buttons here on the steering wheel. Now if we go, press the down um, button there. So we can go over into different menus. It's just telling you US or metric. Uh, you have trip A, trip B, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Fuel economy, a timer for anything you need there. You have speed warnings. And these are just sort of your basic options up here. So you have quick information, audio, phone, navigation. It'll kind of show you a little map right there. So you don't have to keep looking over here to see your navigation. You could just look down right there. It's a pretty cool system right there. So a really cool thing is the heads-up display. Now you can control it using the buttons that I showed you earlier. So now this is just sort of your standard screen. You have a um, digital speedometer. Uh, your miles per hour and you also have a little P there for your park and you also have your um, your RPM counter so now there's a min there's an info button that you can go ahead and choose different screens so that'll show you um, what your radio is doing the compass and it just kind of cycles back there you can also move it up and down to get the perfect uh, view there and you also have a brightness there too so right over here on this stock we have all of our lighting controls and our turn signals. And over here we have our front and rear wiper controls. So right over here we have this nice dash here that kind of like flows down here and it, it houses a couple of air vents. And right here we have our Cadillac Q system and it is a nice touch screen system. So we have our home button right over here. And it's kind of similar to the rest of the GM um, line of MyLinks and IntelliLinks and all that stuff. So right over here we have our audio system, or our audio menu rather. And it shows up us playing all our different media inputs. And up here we will always have these icons up here and they're sort of shortcuts. We have phone. Projection, which has to do with Apple Car CarPlay. We also have navigation, very nice map. We can kind of zoom out here, we're right off 91 here at um, Valenti Cadillac. We also have different settings, you have valet mode, teen driver mode, climate. You can also access all your climate controls through the screen there. You have weather, which is very helpful pretty hot today but it's good to know the weather is here you have text messaging OnStar rear climate this is a three zone climate control you also have all your camera systems so you have a top view camera right here and you also have your rear camera which turns when you turn the wheel and I believe there are cameras located underneath the mirrors that's how you get the side view there and it's a really really cool system you can kind of see the wheel spinning there so a really cool option there if you press that button there you'll always have your presets and then over here is your traffic always cool to have traffic information and that's pretty much it for the basics of this uh, Q screen here um, a lot of people complain about it and I'm not really sure why. Um, it seems on par with the best systems out there. So you have a really nice suede going all along the dash. Really good quality. You also have a parking sensors off button there. And you have your hazard buttons as well. Or your hazard lights rather. So down here you have a mute audio and you can also have you also have your audio volume, you can kinda like swipe it there, which is pretty cool. And down here you have all your physical 
so, well, sort of physical climate control buttons. So you have a three-stage heated and cooled seat for both your driver and passenger. And you have little LCD screens there that will tell you your individual temperature. Auto, recycling, off, front and rear defrost. And these two buttons, these two outer buttons here are for your different um, temperatures. And this is for your fan speed. Down here you have a little pocket to maybe fit your phone or something like that. It's nicely um, covered in suede. So down here you have a little bit of a different gear selector. It's an electronic gear selector and it is for your 8-speed automatic transmission. So we're currently in park and all you need to do to put it in park is press this button up here. So you have a little unlock button right here that you need to press in to go up. Now we're in neutral and we go up and over for reverse. And when we do that, our cameras pop up. Now if we want to go into the drive, all we need to do is put it down. Putting it into park is simple like that, like I showed you earlier. Now over here, it's a very nice um, material here. It's kind of like a leather material there. And you also have a couple of cup holders, very nice. You have traction control off, driving modes. So we have a tour, all-wheel drive mode, then we also have sport. And you could also put it into all-wheel drive all the time. Now up here, we have our center console. You have a little bit of storage there. You have two USBs and an auxiliary inlet there. So now you can really see the bronze carbon fiber reflecting in the sun. I really can't get over how good that looks. So now up here, you have a really nice suede headliner. It's very soft, very high quality. And you also have a mirror with lights. You have your one, two, three for your garage home links. You also have a few LED tap lights. You also have your OnStar and SOS controls. And you have your big panoramic sunroof right here, which comes standard on platinum. So you have your sunshade right here, which is all automatic, and it'll come um, down all the way across. So let's go ahead and open the front portion up. And it'll lift up to vent and then you can put it back all the way and you can also stop it wherever you want and a window flicker comes up so we're not going to keep that open too long because it's pretty hot today and we can go ahead and put the sunshade back and the sunshade I'm very glad it blocks 100% of the light and you also have this very nice mirror up here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the rear cabin of this car. Again, you have the um, lights here on the door handle and your smart key access system. So really nice design back here for the back door. You have a very nice um, portion here with the um, carbon fiber and the um, metallic accents. You also have a, a window opener and your storage right here. And you also have a speaker there as well. So let's go ahead and hop in and see how much room we have. So as soon as you hop in you have a really nice up high seating position and I have plenty of room back here. And you also have a um, storage um, tray right here back here you have your own climate control you have three stage heated seats back here too and all your climate control shows up right here so you do have vents underneath I could feel the uh, air blowing on my feet which is pretty cool and you have a bunch of zones that you can pick so really really cool there you also have your three stage heated seats like I said earlier so no lacking of design back here. The seats are very, very nice. They're nice and comfortable. You also have an armrest back here with two cup holders. And the panoramic sunroof comes nicely back here. You also have some grab handles. 
and an LED light. Very, very, very nice car. I'm very impressed with this car. You also have your headrests that go up and down. So now let's go ahead and check out the front passenger space. So the front passenger door is much like the driver's door, just it has a few less buttons there. So the passenger seat is also powered. Really looking great here. And you also have a little storage tray under here with a 12 volt power outlet. In your glove box you have a pretty good amount of space here. You have your owner's manual and all that kind of stuff. And it's lined in felt. So you can open the trunk a few different ways via the button on the door, the key fob, or there is a button underneath the trunk lid there. But for the purpose of this video we're going to go ahead and double tap the button on the key fob. And you have a fully automatic rear tailgate. So back here you have a really good amount of space, you have a 12 volt power outlet, you also have some LED illumination on either side, you have the floor mats under here, and you also have your spare tire under here as well. Here's your cargo net, and your cargo shade. So you have these handles back here in the trunk, and if you pull them, your second row seat will fold um, forward. And it'll fold flat if you do fold the headrest down first. So you can either close it by using the button on the, on the uh, key fob. You can close it manually or by using this button here. So for the front wheel drive um, Cadillac XT5, you get a 19 gallon fuel tank. But for the all wheel drive, you get a 22 gallon fuel tank. And you have a capless filler there. So for the all-wheel drive model, you get 18 city, 26 highway miles per gallon. So to end, thank you very much for watching this video, and make sure you stay tuned for future in-depth reviews.